Have you ever felt unaccomplished after a hard day of work, even though you know that you have spent hours and hours working? Or after a hard week of work, you know that you've been busy all throughout the week. Nevertheless, by the end of it, you still feel like you didn't really accomplish anything. Why do we feel like this? Is it lack of organization? A lack of a why? So let's start with why. Do you actually know what is the purpose of you getting up each morning? Why are you studying? Why are you working on this specific task? Sometimes you don't feel accomplished, although you, you're tired from working the whole day because you haven't actually been working on something that will positively impact on your goal. So first of all, you need to be clear on why you're working on this task. Why do you have the goal of waking up early? What is the purpose of you studying, of you doing this task, of you needing to finish in this by five o'clock today? Some quick and easy tips to follow in order to fix this would be right somewhere you have at hand through the whole day, first thing in the morning or even better the night before, your MITs for the next day or if it's in the morning for the day. Work on this first thing in the morning, schedule it in your calendar and do the work uninterruptedly, also known as deep work. Remember to put this in your calendar because if you just write them in a never-ending list, which is also known as your to-do list, it's not getting done. Also, write down less important tasks on your list. Only the most important tasks from this list should go on your calendar. And as you finish them, cross them out. This way, when you reach the end of your day, you'll see all the things you've accomplished because you have a physical place to look for it. Remember, you have to write down the things that actually have an impact on your goal and on your why. There are things that we inevitably have to do, especially at a young age where uh, we have school or we have university or, or even if you have a job and there are things that you need to complete. Well, your goal should be, well, I want to study for this test because I don't want to fail. You know, I, I want to get a good grade. I want to do this university work because if not, I'm going to get a zero and I'm not going to get it a high GPA or I'm going to be in, in the danger zone of actually failing this class and I will need to take it again. Sometimes you simply won't be able to complete everything you had in your mind due to random situations that can present to you in your everyday life. However, you get to reflect at the end of your day when you're seeing your to-do list. Why? What is the actual cause of me not finishing that task or those tasks? Was it under my control? Could you have done it better? So reflect on that, move on to the next day. There's no point lamenting yourself on the past. Learn, move on, and get things done. Personally, I use Google Calendar to schedule my most important tasks. So I block them out on a time block, and that way I can do it. I have a specific time scheduled for that task and so I can get it done. And I use Notion to write a to-do list for the less important tasks. So I write down random tasks, less important random tasks that I gotta do that day. And if I, for some reason, I forgot or I just didn't have the time, I move them to the next day. It's really good when you have like templates or, or even when you don't have, it's really not that difficult to, you know, create, a, for example, a to-do list, uh, for example, a weekly to-do list from Monday to Sunday, and you can go write in the tasks for each day. And if you can't finish one task one day, you can move it to the next. I really hope this video was helpful, that it gave you some tips that you can implement in your day-to-day -day life. And well, see you in the next one.